Пройдите путь. Я займусь, Руди. У меня свои счеты с этой ящерицей. Нет, Бак, нет! Руди. Как жить без Руди? Э -э, счастливо. Может, пойдешь с нами, дядюшка Бак? Отличная мысль. Я за. М -м, звучит неплохо. Это Руди. Он жив-здоров. Я должен... Любовь зла, полюбишь и динозавра. Я Эдди. Чш, тихо, зверье, мы тут прячемся. Эй, Сид, ты проснулся? Что уже полдень? Супер шутка. Эли, тебе не кажется, что солнце стало сильнее греть, а? Э, да нет, а что? Уверена? Ты посмотри внимательней. Сид, оно слепит глаза. Хорошо, значит оно работает. Пс, Сид, сюда. За выдающиеся заслуги в области пронырства. Гип, гип, ура! ура! А теперь за подарком для Элли. Все, это и есть секретные задания? Ух ты! Идеальный подарок! Сид, достань этот кристалл! Ребята, я ленивец. Мы не отличаемся силой. Да, но деревья твой дом родной. А -а -а. Тогда держите меня четверо! Сид, тебе больно? Нет, кристаллы. Я видел их в ущелье. Вот в прекрасный новый мир. А, ты уверен, что дерево не упадет? Пройди по нему и узнаешь. Удачи! О, нас за 
рассекли! Сид, спаси нас! Я? Как? Как будто сбиваешь кусты! Да, а не бешеных бобров! Ой-ой-ой! Ух ты, Сид! Задаем жару! Да, но нам загораживает путь этот камень! Дай угадаю, я должен подвинуть его этой палкой. Сид! Да ты герой! Можно вернуться, скатившись по льду! Сегодня вам повезло, парни! Специальное предложение для вас и вас, и суперакция для вас! Не сейчас, Тони, мы на задании! Да-да, конечно, но вам нужны припасы, фрукты, устройства и все в таком духе. Я хочу посмотреть на такого духа. Какой может быть дух в такую-то погоду? Только быстро, быстрый Тони. Слушай, я расскажу, как ты, да, ты сможешь покупать вещи где угодно. Ты уже усвоил основы. Я люблю способных учеников. Сид, скорее! Собирай ягоды, в магазине ты обменяешь их на что угодно. Сид, смотри, кристалл! Стой, кто идет? Так, мелкие сошки. Что это, мелкий? Опа! Ну вас что, без боя, мы вас не пропустим. Ого, Сид, ты слышал? Ты победил всех этих кротов. Теперь твой путь лежит на север, мимо этого камня. Бери палку и... И? Откати ею камень. Ух ты! Эли Глаз не сможет отвести от этого кристалла. Если потрудиться их открыть. Эй, я его достану. А не слабо? Вот, достал. Я достал. Я... На помощь! Надо ему помочь? Сам справится, надеюсь. О, еще кристалл. Тестренка. У нас для тебя что-то есть. Презент от летучего ленивца. Спасибо. Это отвлечет ее от отекших лодыжек. Есть еще один кристалл на краю скалы. Сид, мы нашли еще один кристалл. Но он высоко на скале. Но это ерунда, потому что его охраняют птицы. Тупицы? Птицы, тупица! Давай, Крэш, толкай сильней. Ну давай, Кристалл. Не то мы с тобой по-другому поговорим. Нас заметили! Ой. Мы присмотрим за кристаллом. А ты присмотри за птичками. Ты когда-нибудь видел такой прекрасный кристалл? Можешь гордиться, что добыл его. Вообще-то я горжусь даже очень... С любовью. Вы меня балуете. Хм, хоть какая-то от них польза. Большая польза. Никто не хочет меня побаловать.
Итак, крошка, персик, твой папа, чтобы не путаться у мамы под ногами, э, то есть, чтобы заняться делами, ожидая твоего рождения, трудился над маленькими сюрпризами. Одним из них была детская площадка. Но дел было слишком много, и он попросил меня, дядюшку Сида, о помощи. Теперь уже ясно, что это был далеко не лучший выбор. Эй, Сид, друг ленивец, не поможешь? Я построил эту чудную площадку для игр. Но ребенок может родиться со дня на день, а здесь так опасно. Смотри, здесь можно играть только в больницу, причем настоящую. Я понял, чем дядюшка Сид может помочь? Так, посмотрим. Ты можешь прикрыть эти острые опасные камни листьями. Уложи землю на острые камни вон там. Да, и нужно растопить острые сосульки в пещере. О, это и правда опасно. Да, но многие будут против и захотят помешать тебе. Помешать мне? Спасителю детей? Ни за что. Вот это да, Сид, ты все сделал. Что это было? Надо обезопасить площадку от Карла и Фрэнка. Хм, я не смог сдвинуть эти валуны. Может, они смогут? Есть идея. Э -э, эта идея касается меня? Заберись на одного из них и направь к валунам. Вот что получается, если встать до полудня. Это площадка. Просто чудо. Малыш в восторге. Тогда ему и это понравится. Это ледоход. Малыш знает, что его папа самый лучший. Вау! Как тебе удалось сделать тут все безопасным? <связь> Эй, а Сид в порядке? Он, наверное, просто удивлен, что не видит нас на твоем особом семейном ледоходе. Иногда персик даже дяди могут ошибаться, как твой дядюшка Диего. Ох, опять за свое. Он подумал, что если его не попросили помочь с вашими подарками, то он больше не член нашей семьи. А мог просто спросить. Сколько можно? Но нет! А... И вот дядюшка Диего ушел. Ушел в дикие просторы. Он был уверен, что вся эта семейная жизнь притупила его охотничьи инстинкты. И он решил провести проверку. Эй, что такое? Устроим привал? Это была только разминка. А, когда разомнешься, дай знать. Вот тогда я полечу как ураган. Ладно, малыш, хватит обо мне. Давай я расскажу тебе о дядюшке Сиде. Что? Не выйдет. Я чисто безупречен. А -ля 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 -ля. Он подумал, что раз все только и ждут твоего рождения, то никто больше не захочет с ним дружить. А -а -а. И он решил уйти и поискать себе новых друзей. Где бы они ни были. Не о чем переживать. Я легко завожу друзей. У, это моя будущая стая. Приветик уж мой пушистус другу. Это же ленивская латынь. Вау! Ай! Ну и ладно, не очень-то и хотелось. Ух ты, высоковато будет. О, эхо, привет, 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 привет. 
Сет? Уинстон. <смех> Наверное, ветер. Эй, кто же вас покинул тут совсем одних? Спокойно, я позабочусь о вас. Быть мамой персик значит уметь следовать материнскому инстинкту. А, ты хочешь сказать, что у тебя есть материнский инстинкт? Но что-то же привело меня к этим бедным, беззащитным маленьким яйцам, которые остались совершенно одни. Дожидаться своей настоящей мамы. Тише! Я знал, что тоже смогу быть хорошей мамой, точь-в-точь, точь, как твоя. Мне надо было только доставить их домой. Как-то. Похититель. Эй, эй! Ты куда это? Эй, мы летим! И падаем. А теперь тихий час. Не возвращаться. Я скоро вернусь. Так, следи за братишкой и или сестренкой. Друг за другом. Итак, шалтай-болтай, вся семья в сборе. Я бы сказал, обнимемся, да у нас не выйдет, пока не вылупитесь. Так вот, Персик, когда я прикатил этих прелестных маленьких созданий домой, твои родители были очень рады. Да, особенно когда ты откатил их обратно. А что мамочке было делать? И я попробовал вернуть их обратно, но попал в сильную грозу. И присматривал за ними всю ночь. Но этой ночью случилось что-то чудесное. Из яиц появились на свет мои милые малыши. Ну, я тогда был еще молодой и неопытной мамой. Как и сейчас. Поэтому решил, что свежий воздух и игры именно то, что нужно моим крошкам. Кто бы мог подумать, что они будут играть так грубо. Только посмотри, что творится. Смотрю, смотрю, глаза мои не смотрели. У вас будут большие проблемы. Динозавры не слушаются, Сида. Его собственные блохи не слушаются. Мой ледоход! Вы его разбили! Сказать, что твой дядя Сид дал Маху, ничего не сказать. Когда большая мама динозавра пришла за малышами, она забрала их и Сида. Заодно. Когда настоящие друзья увидели, что произошло, они решили пойти за Сидом и вернуть его, пока не поздно.
твои родители пошли по следам огромной сердитой мамы динозавра глубоко под землю, туда, где мы еще никогда не бывали. Мы попали в удивительную страну, полную опасностей, новых приключений и новых друзей. Нет, не этих, другого. Бака! без меня. Ты сильный. Бак, то есть Бакминстер. Никогда не слыхали о борьбе за выживание? Мы ищем нашего друга. Его забрал динозавр. Ага, всегда друзья и всегда динозавры. Мы говорим правду. Эти следы приведут вас к другу. Или его пушистым останкам. Итак, твоя семья странствовала по странной стране под льдом? Разыскивая тебя. И они знали, что скоро твоя мама захочет поесть. Мамы всегда голодные. Как и все мамонты, вообще-то. В общем, крошка, персик, папа и дядюшка Диего пошли искать еду для мамы. К несчастью, они нашли кое-что другое. Только одно могло помочь. Бак! Что? Да у тебя всегда дурные предчувствия. А -а -а, на помощь! Хочешь, чтобы я им помог? А у тебя что, выходной? Тогда ладно. Сила Мэнни и Диего. Она что же, хищная? Может, это месть? Мэнни, это кот или большой волосатик? Ладно, спасу обоих. Твой дядя Бак появился как раз вовремя, чтобы спасти папу и дядюшку Диего от гигантского плодоядного растения. Но ему пришлось действовать быстро, в своем неподражаемом стиле. Пожалуйста, пропусти эту часть, я смущаюсь. Мэнни, мы идем! Помогите! Мы внутри! Спокойно! Верну обоих целыми и непереваренными! На помощь! Какими? Правило 23. Не попадайся на зуб хищным растением. Скажите Баку спасибо за помощь. Спасибо, Бак. Подумаешь, растение. Ну, конечно. Моя повязка просто показуха. Может, мистер Бак поможет найти Сида? Ну, дорогая, у него и без нас дел по горло. Сами справимся. Я шел на матч по армрестлингу. С гигантским тарантулом! Он жаждет реванша! Видишь, он занят! Вы можете нам найти Сида? Вы неплохие ребята для рожденных ползы. Ладно, но я за главного. И дядя Бак спас папу и дядюшку Диего. 
Но твоя мама все-таки сказала им пару ласковых за то, что они сбились с тропы. У Бака была идея. Нужно было подняться повыше, чтобы он мог одним глазком взглянуть на джунгли впереди. Дядюшку Сида, то есть меня, кто-то должен был помочь своим родителям. Кто-то стрессоустойчивый. Кто-то знающий дорогу. Кто-то с железной волей. Кто-то совершенно безумный. И все уладилось. Пак пришел на помощь. Но сначала он объяснил несколько правил, обязательных для всех. Так, внимание! Отныне моя среда обитания, мои правила. Правило первое – слушаться Бака, то есть меня. Правило второе – не сходить с тропы, слонам не слоняться. Правило третье – ожидайте неожиданного. Бак, ты цел? Конечно цел. Отправляйтесь в ущелье смерти, я догоню. В ущелье смерти? Путешествие в один конец? Так вы уже и билеты взяли? Ха-ха, отлично! Ты смотри, кто решил объявиться. А теперь послушай о дядюшке Баке Персик. Он великий мастер рассказывать байки. История о чем угодно. Как он оказался в подледном мире, куда делся его глаз и даже о большом белом динозавре Руди. Между тем у меня была своя забота. Я пытался уложить своих малышей спать далеко в джунглях. Их мамочке нужно было отдохнуть, иначе она была бы сердитой и голодной. Кому это надо? Спокойно, малыши, друг мамочки все уладит. Горжусь с тобой, пожимаю твою ветку. А? Ладно, если что, я рядом. А потом наступил новый день и принес новые приключения. Новые опасности в незнакомой стране. Да, еще чудо и радость жизни и новых друзей. Да, а еще он принес нежданных врагов. Да, а еще долгожданные воссоединения семьи. Но в тот момент мы были в большой беде. Да, но вместе мы справились. Ты хотел сказать по отдельности? Я и говорю по раздельности вместе. Давай, старая курица! Он не слушается! Помоги! Ладно, ладно, не курица! Орел в самом расцвете сил! Ты моя пташка! Ее надо ласкать! Вы молодцы, только не задавайтесь. Так и вышло, Персик. 
Мы с папой сражались с опасными динозаврами. Мы решили, что раз твой папа не в такой хорошей форме, как я, что, впрочем, неудивительно, то именно я должен спасти твою маму. Извините, что вы тут делаете? Рассказываем сказку на ночь. А, ладно. Главное, чтобы она была не страшной. Скоро вернусь. Помните, никаких ужасов. Говорил же я, что это слишком страшно. Не говорил. Ну ладно, лучше я расскажу тебе другую сказку. Про то, как храбрый дядюшка Бак летал на гигантском птеродактиле через пещеры, чтобы спасти меня. Куда мы летим? Так быстрее! Быстрее найди себе неприятности! Надеюсь! Сид! Что за Сид? Наш друг! Я думал, он больше! Ой! Уау! Надо уйти от них! Вперед! У меня не хватает дыхания! Кто сделал эту стену лавы? Тот, кто нас очень не любит! Помоги! Бак! Твой папа спас мамочку, Персик! С помощью дядюшки Диего. Так что он не только был нужен семье, но и не потерял своих охотничьих навыков. Спасибо. Тем временем дела дядюшки Бака шли в гору. Точнее, взмывали в гору. Что, собственно, он и сделал в последний момент, спасаясь от лавы. Так что Бак, Крэш и Эдди молодцы. Да, чего нельзя было сказать о Сиде, который в этот момент удирал от Руди. Ну-ка, лапы прочь! Птичка летит домой! Вот откуда берутся сиротки. И вот что я скажу тебе, малышка. Этот щекнутый хорек смог спасти дядюшку Сида. А сразу после этого родилась ты, наша радость. О-о-о! Баку оставалось только вывести нас оттуда. Но подлюдный мир – место опасное где каждый от мала до велика борется за жизнь. Мы знали, что это еще не конец. Мы уже почти выбрались из подледного мира, но дорога вдруг взяла и закончилась. Сначала мы должны были добраться до моста из скелетов. Так, и кто теперь пугает ребенка? Ну подумаешь, скелеты. Может, тогда расскажешь ей, что было потом? 
Да-да, дядюшка Бак пришел и начал все улаживать, у -у -у улажевывать, у -у -у улаживать. Ну, ну вы поняли. Ну, зверушки, посидите здесь с малышом. Я вернусь раньше, чем вы тут заскучаете. А, чуть не забыл. Каждый ваш вздох может быть последним. Чем смеемся, грызуны? Газу надышались. Не знаешь, это никак не скажется на их здоровье. Не думаю. Просто будут смеяться, как придурки. Это однозначно скажется на моем слухе. Так, все, баста, карапузики. Кончились танцы. Но дядюшка Бак расставил все по своим местам. Когда он появился, он тут же придумал, как нам перебраться. А это для нее не слишком страшно? Нет, ничего. Продолжай. Уверен? Да. Правда? Да. Давай. Ну ладно. В общем, дядюшка Бак сам перебрался, а потом и нас всех через мост переправил. А это было лишь чуточку страшно. Ох, опять. Так, крошка персик поскольку твои родители поручили мне за тобой присмотреть, я расскажу тебе сказку на ночь. Минуточку. А как же я? Да, Диего, но только у одного из нас есть родительский опыт. Сид, у тебя не было детей. Были. Вовсе не твои. Это были яйца динозавра. И что? Их мать чуть не съела тебя. Все равно. Давным-давно, когда мама и папа ждали твоего появления на свет, на самом деле мама и мы с Диего ждали, а папа просто сходил с ума. Да, так и было. Но его посетила идея удивить Элли, преподнести ей отличный подарок в твою честь. Хорошая идея, потому что он нервировал Элли, а маму мамонта нельзя нервировать. И он поручил мне, Крэшу и Эдди, обшарить окрестности и найти кристаллы. И все под покровом тайны. Но сначала им пришлось тебя разбудить. Это задачка. Мама динозавр победила Руди. Благодаря ей и дядюшке Баку мы все благополучно вернулись в верхний мир. Конец. А, знаешь, Диего, я скучаю. Свет, ты серьезно? А что? Она тебя чуть не съела. Но это любя. Ой, хватит. Ты просто не понимаешь. Мы и мамы должны держаться вместе. Сид, перестань. Ты не мама. Не слышу тебя. Спокойной ночи, Персик. Да, доброй ночи. Once upon a time, while your parents were waiting for the special day for you to be born, actually your mother and I and your Uncle Diego here were waiting. Your father was freaking out. Yes, yes he was. But he did have the idea to surprise Ellie with a great present in honor of your arrival. And good thing, too, because he was making Ellie nervous. You should never make a mama mammoth nervous. So he got me and your uncle's crash and Eddie to scout around and find the crystals he needed. But we'd have to do it all in secret. Yeah, but first they had to wake you up. That was the hard part. It's Sid. You think he's awake, Eddie? Awake means eyes open, Crash. Ah. Is that a sloth with four toes? Four toes! Ah, who? What? Four toes? Sid, glad you're up. We need some help. We need you to distract Ellie so we can sneak out. 
This is a top secret mission. Secret mission? Roger! I'm Eddie. Shh, come on, mammals. We're sneaking here. Hey, Sid. You're awake. Is it noon already? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Uh, say, Ellie, does, does the sun feel any warmer to you? Huh? Uh, not really. Why? Are you sure? Because you gotta re let it soak in. Sid, my eyes are stinging. Good, good. That means it's working. Psst, Sid, come on. For outstanding swathy service in the field of sneakiness. We salute you. Now to find a baby gift for Ellie. What? Wait a minute, that's a secret mission. Ooh, look! A perfect gift! Sid, you gotta get that crystal! Guys, I'm a sloth. We're not known for our physical prowess. Yes, but you're a tree sloth. Ah, then uh, make way for the expert! You guys know what goes best with crystals? Parmesan? Nope. More crystals. I saw some through that passage. Cross over the tree and explore away. Uh, are you sure this tree is solid? <laughs> Walking on it's the best way to find out. Good luck! that boulder oh wait let me guess you want me to move it with that stick Sid you are on fire get back down here by sliding on that ice Today's your lucky day, boys. Have I got an offer for you, and you, and what an offer I got for you. Not now, Tony. We are on a mission. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, but you're gonna need supplies. I got your fruits, your gadgets, the whole shebang. <laughs> I've never even seen half a shebang. How do you even keep a whole shebang in this weather? Talk fast, fast, Tony. Listen up and I'll tell you how you, yes, you, can buy items anywhere in the world. You got the basics down already, huh? Fast Tony likes a quick learner. Sid, let's go. Collect them berries and trade them for anything in the shop. Sid, up there, the crystal. Oh, who goes there? Uh, nobody important? Hey, speak for yourself. Oops. Well, whoever you are, you'll have to get past us first. Okay, Sid. You heard him. You have defeated the last of the Mohawks. But now your destiny lies to the north. Pass that boulder. Take this stick and... And... Use it to clear the big rock. Whoa! Ellie won't be able to take her eyes off that crystal. 
Assuming her eyes are open. Guys, let me get it. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> ah! Should we do anything? Ah, he'll be fine. Hey, huh? Ow! <clears throat> wow, another crystal. Hey, sis. Bet you weren't expecting that. Courtesy of Air Sloth. Thanks, guys. You're really taking her mind off her swollen ankles. I heard there's another crystal by the edge of the cliff. Sid, we found another crystal, but it's stuck up on a ledge. But that's no big deal, because it's being guarded by birds. Nerds? Birds, you nerd! Let's go, Crash. Push on it. Come on, Crystal! If that even is your real name. <laughs> We've been spotted! Uh oh. Uh, we'll look after the crystal, and you look after those birds. <laughs> Have you ever seen such a perfect crystal? You should feel good about yourself for getting. You know, I do feel good. I feel really... Brothers with love. You guys spoil me. Yeah, almost makes up for all the other junk they do. Okay, it does. Doesn't anybody want to spoil me? Well, little peaches, one of the ways your papa stayed out of your mama's way, I, or, I mean, kept himself busy <laughs> while he was waiting for you to be born, was to work on these little surprises. One of them was a playground for you. But there was too much to do. So he asked me, your Uncle Sid, for a little help. In retrospect, your Uncle Sid probably wasn't the best choice. Shh. Hey, Sid, really appreciate you lending a paw here. You see, I built this awesome playground, but my kid's coming any day now, and I need to baby-proof the place. Look at this, the only game our kid can play here is Daddy Brings You to the Doctor. I hear you. Now what can Uncle Sid do for you? Well... Let's see. You can pad those sharp, eye-poking-out rocks with leaves. You can put mud on those sharp rocks over there. Oh, yeah, and you could melt the sharp icicles in the cave. No, now those are a hazard. Yeah, but not everybody thinks so. They may try and stop you. Stop me, the child safeinator? Bring him on. Whoa, 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 what was that? Too bad we didn't call and frank-proof the playground. But hey, I could move those large rocks earlier, but maybe they can. I got an idea. Uh, does this idea include me? If you can get on one of their backs, you can guide them into the rocks. This is what happens when I wake up before noon. Meant to hit the playground, not the ground ground. Oh, this playground. It's amazing. The baby loves it. Well, then the baby will really love this. An ice mobile. The baby thinks you're the best dad ever. Whoa! And where did you get all the energy to baby-proof this place? <laughs> hey, is it okay? 
Oh, he's probably just shocked that we're nowhere to be found on your special family ice mobile. Sometimes, little peaches, even your uncles are wrong about the stuff. And by your uncles, I mean Diego. Oh, not this again. He thought that since he wasn't asked to participate in the goings-on with the gift for you, that he wasn't part of our family anymore. He could have asked, of course. Every time. But no! <sighs> So your Uncle Diego went off, off into the wilderness. Oh, he was sure that all his family life had dulled his hunter's touch. So he came up with the perfect test. What's the matter? Need a break or something? I was just warming up. Ooh, well, when you're warmed up, let me know. So I can blow your stripes off! All right, little one. Enough of my story. Let me tell you about your Uncle Sid. What? You've got nothing. I'm clean above reproach. La 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 la. He thought that since everyone was busy waiting for you to be born, that nobody wanted to be his friend anymore. Oh. So he thought that he would go off and find some new friends. Wherever he might find them. Okay, nothing to freak out about. I'm good at making friends. Oh, there's my future herd. Hello, hey, hello, fey, Uri, fey, and fey. Hmm, I guess they don't know sloth Latin. Okay, I'm not that desperate for friends. Shh. Oh, hey! Who left you guys here all alone? Don't worry, I'll make sure you're safe. The thing about being a mama, Peaches, you have to learn to follow your mama instinct. Oh, and I suppose you're gonna say that you have this mama instinct? Well, something led me to those poor, defenseless little eggs, left all alone to fend for themselves. Waiting for their real mama. Oh, sis. See, I knew I could be a good mama too, just like your mama. All I had to do was get them home, somehow. Eggnapper. Where, where are you, where, hey, where are you going? We're flying! Or are we falling? Here we are, Egbert, Shelly, and Yoko, one happy family. Oh, I say give each other a hug, but maybe that'll be easier after you hatch. Well, little peaches, when I brought those little bundles of egg joy home, your parents were so happy. Yeah, once you brought the eggs back to where they belonged. Oh, what was a mother to do? So I tried to take them back, but got caught in a furious rainstorm and watched over them all night. But that night, something wonderful happened. The eggs hatched, and my little babies were born. Well, being the young and inexperienced mama that I was... Still are. Well, I thought that fresh air and playtime was exactly what my new little darlings needed. Who could have guessed that they would have played so rough? Look what they're doing to your playground! I'm looking! I'm looking! I'm looking away! Oh, you are in big trouble, mister. It looks like Sid can't control his dinosaurs. Sid can't even control his head lice. I... Ice Mobile! You destroyed it!
She's their mother! How do I know she's their mother? What do you want, a birth certificate? She's a dinosaur! Oh. Well, Peaches, to say that your Uncle Sid put his foot in it would be an understatement. But when the Big Mama Dinosaur came back for her babies, she took them and Sid back with her. When his real friends showed up and saw what had happened, they decided to follow Sid and get him back before it was too late. Mommy and Daddy followed the footprints of the giant, angry Dino Mama deep underground into places we had never been before. We had wandered into a strange land full of strange dangers, old new adventures, and new friends. No, not them. I mean him. Fuck! Yeah! <laughs> in trouble. Oh, you'll be fine without me. You're tough. <laughs> the name's Buck. Short for Buckminster. You're new to this whole survival thing, aren't you? We're, we're looking for our friend. He was taken by a dinosaur. There's always a friend and always a dinosaur. We're not making this up. Those tracks should lead you to your friend. Oh, his furry carcass. Well, while your family wandered all across the strange land under the ice. Looking for you? They knew they had to get your mama something to eat soon. Being a mama is hungry work. So is being a mammoth. Hot, too. Anyways, little peaches. Your daddy and Uncle Diego went off to find some food for your mama. Unfortunately, something else found them first. And there was only one thing to do. Bark! What? If I listen every time you had bad feelings... Oh, help! You want me to help them? Oh, I see. You're on holiday. Well, OK, then. Fuck! That plant's got Manny and Diego. What kind of plant eats meat? Maybe it's revenge. Is Manny the cat or the big hairy thing? Oh, heck, I'll save them both. Your Uncle Buck arrived just in time to save your daddy and Uncle Diego from the giant carnivorous plant. But he attacked fast, and that meant doing things his way. 
please. Can we just skip this part? It's so embarrassing. Manny, we're coming! Help! We're in here! Don't worry. I'll have them out before they're wholly digested. Up to the rescue! Digested! Rule number 23. Do not feed yourself to a carnivorous plant. You two better thank Buck for his help. Thank you, Buck. We did almost have him by the roots. Sure you did. And this eye patch is just for show. Now ask Mr. Buck if he'll help us find Sid. Oh, no, no. I'm sure he has better things to do. It's okay. Well, I was on my way to an arm wrestling match with a giant tarantula. He wanted another go at me. See? He's a busy guy. Would you help us find Sid? Well, you seem decent for ground dwellers. Okay, fine. But I'm in charge. And your Uncle Buck saved your daddy and Uncle Diego. But your mama had some choice words for them about wandering too far from the path. Buck had an idea. But they would need to get a little higher to get a buck's eye view of the jungle ahead of them. It was obvious that in order to find your Uncle Sid, I, I, I mean me, your parents were going to need some help. Someone cool under pressure. Someone who knew their way around. Someone with a will of iron. Someone absolutely crazy. So it was settled. Buck would help them. But first, he had a few short rules that everyone needed to follow. All right, listen up. From now on, my habitat, my rules. Rule number one, always listen to Buck. This Buck. Rule number two, stay on the trail. Buck don't like wanderers. And rule number three, expect the unexpected. <laughs> Buck, are you okay? Paul woke me up. You go to the chasm of death and I'll catch up. Chasm of death? Sounds like a one-way trip. Ah, so you've got tickets already. Ha-ha, <laughs> wonderful. Oh, look who decided to show up. Well, let me tell you about your Uncle Buck, little peaches. Oh, he could tell a yarn like nobody's business. He had a story about everything, about how he got to the world under the ice, how he got his eye patch, and even about the great white dino Rudy. Oh, meanwhile, I was in a pickle of my own, trying to get my babies to sleep far off in the jungle. Their mama needed her beauty rest, and oh, she'd be cranky and hungry if she didn't get it. <laughs> Don't worry, babies. Mommy's friend here will keep them quiet. Oh, I'm so proud of you. From leaf to roots. Ah, okay, I'll be over here if you need me. The dawn brought a new day full of possibilities. Full of dangers in an unfamiliar land. Yeah, but it also brought the joy and wonder of life. New friends. Yes, but it also brought with it unwelcome foes. Yes, but that led us back to welcome family. But at that moment, we were in some real trouble. Yes, but together we could do anything. Uh, Sid, don't you mean separately? 
Yes, that's what I said, separately together. Come on, you cranky old bird! We're out of control! Do something! Okay, okay! I didn't mean it! You're a sweet, fine, young pterodactyl! That's a girl! Birds like the sweet talk. Possums rule! That's great, mates. Don't get cocky. So there we were, Peaches. Your daddy and I, fighting off dangerous dinosaurs. We decided that since your dad wasn't in as good a shape as I was, or any other mammal on the planet for that matter, that I should go save your mama from certain doom. Excuse me. What are you two doing? Ugh. Telling Peaches a bedtime story. Oh, all right. Well, just as long as it's not too scary. Back soon. And remember, nothing too scary. I told you this part might be too scary. You did not. Anyways, let me tell you the other side of the story. Where brave Uncle Buck was riding a giant flying pterodactyl through the caves to come rescue me. Going. This is a shortcut! Is it a shortcut filled with horrible danger? Let's hope so! There's Sid! What's a Sid? Our friend! I thought he'd be taller! Whoa! Whoa! We need to shake him off! Come on! I'm running out of lung here! Don't put a lava wall there! Someone who doesn't like us much! Hey! Ah! Your daddy saved your mommy, little peaches. Uh, um... Uh, with the help of your Uncle Diego. So not only was he needed by his family, but he had also never lost his hunter's edge. Thank you. Meanwhile, things were looking up for your Uncle Buck. Or rather, pulling up. He, which is exactly what he did at the last second before hitting the lava. He and your uncles, Crash and Eddie, were okay. Yes, which is more than you could say for Sid, who at this time was still running from Rudy. He's heading home. This is how abandonment issues start. Well, I'm pleased to say, little one, that, crazy or not, that little weasel saved your Uncle Sid. And we were even more pleased when you were born right after. Aww. Aww. All that was left now was for Buck to show us the way out. But the world below us was a dangerous place. And no matter who or what you were, you had to fight to survive. We knew it wasn't over yet.
well on our way to getting out of the world under the ice. That is, until we reach the end of the road. But first, we have to find a way to get across to the skeleton bridge. All right. Now who's being too scary for the baby? What? I just said skeleton. Why don't you just tell her what happened next, hmm? Right, right. Well, it was your Uncle Buck, that's what. He sprung into action. Spring. Spr spring it in it. Uh, spring oh, you know what I mean. Right, mammals. Wait here and protect the little one. I'll be back before you can say cataclysmic doom. Oh, uh, one last thing. This could be your last breath, so make a count. Hey, listen to me. I scream. Oi, what's with the laughing, you chipmunks? They breathed in the gas. So besides acting like idiots, are they going to be okay? Don't know the long-term effects of squeaky vocal cords. <laughs> the only long-term effect will be my loss of hearing. <laughs> okay, mammals, show's over. Time to get you home. Well, your Uncle Buck made it all right, little peaches. And once he arrived, he figured out a way for the rest of us to get across. Oh, this isn't going to be too scary again, is it? No, it'll be fine. Keep going. You sure? Yes. Really? Yes. Go. All righty. Anyways, once Uncle Buck made it, he figured out a way for the rest of us to get across to the bridge. And it was only just a little scary. Oh, brother. All right, little peaches. Since your parents have left me in charge as a babysitter, I thought I would tell you a bedtime story. Wait a minute. I'm here, too. Yes, Diego, but only one of us has real experience as a parent. Sid, you were never a parent. Was too. Those weren't even your kids. They were dinosaur eggs. So? Their real mother almost chomped you. Anyways, once upon a time, while your parents were waiting for the special day for you to be born, actually, your mother and I and your Uncle Diego here were waiting. Your father was freaking out. Yes, yes he was. But he did have the idea to surprise Ellie with a great present in honor of your arrival. And good thing, too, because he was making Ellie nervous. You should never make a mama mammoth nervous. So he got me and your uncles Crash and Eddie to scout around and find the crystals he needed. But we'd have to do it all in secret. Yeah, but first they had to wake you up. That was the hard part. Sid, you think he's awake, Eddie? Awake means eyes open, Crash. Ah. Is that a sloth with four toes? Four toes! Ah, who? What? Four toes? Sid, glad you're up. We need some help. We need you to distract Ellie so we can sneak out. This is a top secret mission. Secret mission? Roger! I'm Eddie. Shh, come on, mammals. We're sneaking here. Hey, Sid. You're awake. Is it noon already? <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Uh, say, Ellie, does, does the sun feel any warmer to you? Huh? Uh, not really. Why? Are uh, you sure? Because you gotta really let it soak in. Sid, my eyes are stinging. Good, good. That means it's working. Psst, Sid, come on. For outstanding slothy service in the field of sneakiness. We salute you! Ooh, look! A perfect gift! Sid, you gotta get that crystal! Guys, I'm a sloth. We're not known for our physical prowess. Yes, but you're a tree sloth. Ah. Then, uh, make way for the expert! Mm. Mm. Ah! Ah! Ow! Sid, does it hurt? Only, only when I breathe, or talk, or think. Ow! Ow, see? It's a gift! In your baby's honor! Oh, wow! It's beautiful. You guys know what goes best with crystals? Parmesan? Nope. More crystals. I saw some through that passage. 
Cross over the tree and explore away. Uh, are you sure this tree is solid? <laughs> Walking on it's the best way to find out. Good luck! Bushes. Yeah, not angry rabbit beavers. Oh! Wow, Sid! You are on fire! Yeah, but right now we gotta get past that boulder! Oh, wait, let me guess. You want me to move it with that stick? Sid! You are on fire! Get back down here by sliding on that ice! Today's your lucky day, boys! Have I got an offer for you! And you! And what an offer I got for you! Not now, Tony. We are on a mission. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, but you're gonna need supplies. I got your fruits, your gadgets, the whole shebang. <laughs> I've never even seen half a shebang. How do you even keep a whole shebang in this weather? Talk fast, fast Tony. Listen up and I'll tell you how you, yes, you can buy items anywhere in the world. You got the basics down already, huh? Fast Tony likes a quick learner. Sid, let's go. Collect them berries and trade them for anything in the shop. Sid, up there, the crystal. Halt! Who goes there? Uh, nobody important. Hey, speak for yourself. Oops. Well, whoever you are, you'll have to get past us first. Okay, Sid. You heard him. You have defeated the last of the Mohawks. But now your destiny lies to the north. Pass that boulder. Take this stick and... And... Use it to clear the big rock. Whoa! Ellie won't be able to take her eyes off that crystal. Assuming her eyes are open. Guys, let me get it. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. I... Got... <laughs> ah! Help! Should we do anything? Be fine. Hey, huh? Ow! <clears throat> wow, another crystal. Hey, sis. Bet you weren't expecting that. Courtesy of Air Sloth. Thanks, guys. You're really taking her mind off her swollen ankles. I heard there's another crystal by the edge of the cliff. Sid, we found another crystal, but it's stuck up on a ledge. But that's no big deal, because it's being guarded by birds! Nerds? Birds, you nerd! Let's go, Crash! Push on it! Come on, Crystal! If that even is your real name... <laughs> We've been spotted! Uh oh uh, We'll look after the crystal! And you look after those birds! Have you ever seen such a perfect crystal? You should feel good about yourself for getting. You know, I do feel good. I feel really...
Look out! Oh, from your brothers with love. You guys spoil me. Yeah, almost makes up for all the other junk they do. Okay, it does. Doesn't anybody want to spoil me? Whoa, 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 what was that? Too bad we didn't call and frank-proof the playground. But hey, I could move those large rocks earlier. But maybe they can. I got an idea. Uh, does this idea include me? If you can get on one of their backs, you can guide them into the rocks. This is what happens when I wake up before noon. I meant to hit the playground, not the ground ground. <sighs> oh, this playground. It's amazing. The baby loves it. Well, then the baby will really love this. An ice mobile. The baby thinks you're the best dad ever. Whoa! And where did you get all the energy to baby-proof uh -oh. this place? <laughs> hey, is it okay? Oh, he's probably just shocked that we're nowhere to be found on your special family ice mobile. Sometimes, little peaches, even your uncles are wrong about stuff. <laughs> What's the matter? Need a break or something? I was just warming up. Ooh, well, when you're warmed up, let me know. So I can blow your stripes off! Your Uncle Sid. What? You've got nothing. I'm clean above reproach. La 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 la. He thought that since everyone was busy waiting for you to be born, that nobody wanted to be his friend anymore. Oh. So he thought that he would go off and find some new friends, wherever he might find them. Okay, nothing to freak out about. I'm good at making friends. Oh, there's my future herd. Hello, hey, hello, fey, uri, fey, and fey. Hmm, I guess they don't know sloth Latin. Okay, I'm not that desperate for friends. Oh, hey! Who left you guys here all alone? Don't worry. I'll make sure you're safe. The thing about being a mama, Peaches, you have to learn to follow your mama instinct. Oh, and I suppose you're gonna say that you have this mama instinct? Well, something led me to those poor, defenseless little eggs left all alone to fend for themselves. Waiting for their real mama. Oh, shush. See, I knew I could be a good mama too, just like your mama. All I had to do was get them home, somehow. Eggnapper. Where, where are you, where, hey, where are you going? <laughs> We're flying! Oh, are we falling? <laughs> Okay, now take your nap. No arguing. I'll be back shortly. Well, 
Well, little peaches, when I brought those little bundles of egg joy home, your parents were so happy. Yeah, once you brought the eggs back to where they belonged. Oh, what was a mother to do? So I tried to take them back, but got caught in a furious rainstorm and watched over them all night. But that night, something wonderful happened. The eggs hatched and my little babies were born. Well, being the young and inexperienced mama that I was... Still are. Well, I thought that fresh air and playtime was exactly what my new little darlings needed. Who could have guessed that they would have played so rough? Look what they're doing to your playground! I'm looking! I'm looking! I'm looking away! <laughs> oh, you are in big trouble, mister! It looks like Sid can't control his dinosaurs. Sid can't even control his head lice. My ice mobile! You destroyed it! Peaches, to say that your Uncle Sid put his foot in it would be an understatement. But when the Big Mama Dinosaur came back for her babies, she took them, and Sid, back with her. When his real friends showed up and saw what had happened, they decided to follow Sid and get him back before it was too late. Mommy and Daddy followed the footprints of the giant, angry Dino Mama deep underground, into places we had never been before. We had wandered into a strange land, full of strange dangers, old new adventures, and new friends. No, not them. I mean him. Buck! Buckminster. You're new to this whole survival thing, aren't you? We're, we're looking for our friend. He was taken by a dinosaur. There's always a friend and always a dinosaur. We're not making this up. Those tracks should lead you to your friend. Oh, his furry carcass. Many 
San Diego. What kind of plant eats meat? Maybe it's revenge. Is Manny the cat or the big hairy thing? Oh, heck, I'll save them both. <laughs> You better thank Buck for his help. Thank you, Buck. We did almost have him by the roots. Sure you did. And this eye patch is just for show. Now ask Mr. Buck if he'll help us find Sid. Oh, no, no. I'm sure he has better things to do. It's okay. Well, I was on my way to an arm wrestling match with a giant tarantula. He wanted another go at me. See? He's a busy guy. Would you help us find Sid? Oh, you seem decent for ground dwellers. Okay, fine. But I'm in charge. And your Uncle Buck saved your daddy and Uncle Diego. But your mama had some choice words for them about wandering too far from the path. Buck had an idea, but they would need to get a little higher to get a buck's eye view of the jungle ahead of them. Who decided to show up? Well, let me tell you about your Uncle Buck, little peaches. Oh, he could tell a yarn like nobody's business. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. Mommy's friend here will keep him quiet. Oh, I'm so proud of you. From leaf to roots. Ah, okay, I'll be over here if you need me. <laughs> New friend. Yes, but it also brought with it unwelcome foes. Yes, but that led us back to welcome family. But at that moment... We were in some real trouble. Yes, but together we could do anything. Uh, Sid, don't you mean separately? Yes, that's what I said, separately together. Come on, you cranky old bird! We're out of control! Do something! Okay, okay! I didn't mean it! You're a sweet, fine, young pterodactyl! That's a girl! Birds like a sweet talk. So there we were, Peaches. Your daddy and I, fighting off dangerous dinosaurs. We decided that, since your dad wasn't in as good a shape as I was, or any other mammal on the planet for that matter, that I should go save your mama from certain doom. Excuse me, what are you two doing? Ugh. Telling Peaches a bedtime story. Oh, all right. Well, just as long as it's not too scary. Back soon. And remember, nothing too scary. I told you this part might be too scary. You did not. Anyways, let me tell you the other side of the story, where brave Uncle Buck was riding a giant flying pterodactyl through the caves to come rescue me. This is a shortcut! Is it a shortcut filled with horrible danger? Let's hope so! Come on! I'm running out of lung here! I'll put a lava wall there! Someone who doesn't like us much! With the help of your Uncle Diego. So not only was he needed by his family, but he had also never lost his hunter's edge. 
Thank you. Meanwhile, things were looking up for your Uncle Buck. Or rather, pulling up. <laughs> Which is exactly what he did at the last second before hitting the lava. He and your uncles, Crash and Eddie, were okay. Yes, which is more than you could say for Sid, who at this time was still running from Rudy. Start. Well, I'm pleased to say, little one, that, crazy or not, that little weasel saved your Uncle Sid. And we were even more pleased when you were born right after. Aww. Aww. All that was left now was for Buck to show us the way out. But the world below us was a dangerous place. And no matter who or what you were, you had to fight to survive. We knew it wasn't over yet. well on our way to getting out of the world under the ice. That is, until we reach the end of the road. But first, we have to find a way to get across to the skeleton bridge. All right, now who's being too scary for the baby? What? I just said skeleton. Why don't you just tell her what happened next, hmm? Right, right. Well, it was your Uncle Buck, that's what. He sprung into action. Sp spring, sp spring, it, 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 spring, oh, you know what I mean. Right, mammals, wait here and protect the little one. I'll be back before you can say cataclysmic doom. Oh, uh, one last thing. This could be your last breath, so make a cat. <laughs> hey, listen to me. I squeeze. Oi, what's with the laughing, you chipmunks? They breathed in the gas. So besides acting like idiots, are they going to be okay? Don't know the long-term effects of squeaky vocal cords. <laughs> <laughs> 